Hey everyone, sorry if this is going to be a more serious vlog. I just wanted to share what's on my heart. Within the span of one year, three Supernaturals crew members and very close brothers to me passed away. Fourth generation Supernaturals Juni, aka Problem Child from Connecticut, USA, passed away late August 2019. First generation Armando, aka Ninja, passed September 2019. And on August 2nd, 2020, our third gen, Richie Brown, aka Mousy Mouse, recently passed away. Each time I'm completely devastated as each member of Supernaturals is like a brother to me, each member standing side by side together on the battle lines, each vowing to be down for life. Each of my three fallen brothers had something eerily in common. All three of them lived a hard life, growing up in that street life. Each of my brothers had the biggest hearts. They loved their friends, their families, they loved hip hop, and of course, they embodied what a true b-boy was in the sense of their spirits. This is why I shared that connection with them, because each of them knew me before my huge encounter with God. We knew where each other truly came from, and I truly believe that this is the reason why my 90s generation of b-boys get along so well, because we know where we came from. With that said, each of my fallen three brothers have something else in common. Each of them left behind a beautiful daughter. This really hit me hard. As many of you know, I too have a daughter that means the world to me. I understand why my fellow crew members decided to focus less on break-in once they became fathers. Ninja told me 26 years ago something that I'd never forget. He said that break-in is the best out of the four elements, but the only one where there is no money in it. And that is the reason why I've spent the past 20 years working on a way to create a self-sustaining b-boy industry. I know that if breaking was as big as, let's say, the NBA, majority of the top legendary b-boys would still be active battling to this very day. Now, don't get me wrong, we don't break for the money, but money is the reality of life. And when we have kids, a good father will choose to feed his kids before going out to break. The only way for a b-boy to not have to make that choice is if a b-boy can earn a decent living from breaking. This is why someone like Menno is going hard and why my boy Ronnie can still keep on going. When the livelihood of your children depend on you being the best, that will make you break even harder than ever. But with that said, even if we make enough to feed our kids, what happens if we are gone? Are we going to leave something behind for them when we are gone? Well, this is what killed me with the passing of my three Supernaturals brothers, knowing that each of them left behind daughters. And it wasn't until Mouse passed away that I realized that I need to do something and make a difference. As a united community, we need to create a culture that honors our fallen heroes' memories. While raising funds to help pay for things like funeral costs or goes to their kids' education. This is why I recently, through my new b-boy sneaker company, created the first b-boy memorial sneaker called the Mouse Number no. Ones, which embodies the essence of my late brother Mouse, as well as 70 to 85 percent of the profits going directly to his daughter's university education. I hope that. If successful, initiatives like this can be done for all our honored b-boys across the world in a way to pay tribute to the sacrifices that were made for the love of the culture. I want to prove to parents, wives, and children that allowing your sons and husbands to be b-boys was not a mistake, but the love and respect of our culture is priceless. In reality, this already started in our culture with the loss of Mex One. Let's continue this tradition for all our beloved b-boys and b-girls. To all the top b-boys and b-girls watching this, if you would like me to do this for you and your loved ones should something happen to you, God forbid, please do not hesitate to contact me and let me know. Or if you know any b-boy who recently passed away but deserves his or her own memorial sneaker to raise funds, please contact me directly. And for everyone else, Please don't hesitate to take this same idea for your loved ones who passes, whether you make t-shirts, hats, or anything. So if ever, ever anything was ever to happen to me, I'd be honored and grateful to have someone to do this for me and my family. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, click on the like button if you agree with my ideas, or leave a comment. And if you want to help me out or be a good citizen of the hip-hop nation, please share. 
Peace out and God bless you all.